One morning not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and then I'll show Margaret, and then I'll show Jane, and then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and then I'll show Roddy, and then I'll show Tashi, and then I'll show Casey, and then I'll show Connie, and then I'll show Parker, and then I'll show Brienne, and then... Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny someplace very special. Trixie couldn't wait to show Knuffle Bunny to Mrs. Greengrove and all her friends in pre-K. But just as her daddy kissed her goodbye, Trixie saw Sonia. Suddenly Trixie's one-of-a-kind Knuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore. The morning did not go well. Knuffle, 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 knuffle. The afternoon was worse. Knuffle, 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 knuffle. When the school bell rang, Mrs. Greengrove returned the knuffle bunnies, and the day got better. Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. But a few hours later, Trixie realized. Trixie marched into her mommy and daddy's room and said, That is not my bunny. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2am means. He asked, Can't we deal with this in the morning? Trixie's daddy went to the phone. Before he even made it down the stairs, the phone rang. We have your bunny. We have yours. Arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. There was an exchange and the Knuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonia. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm, I'm glad you got, got your bunny back. back. <laughs> At the exact same time. And that is how Trixie found her first best friend. Go, Go ahead. Ahead.